Hi there, so in the previous video I was explaining you how you can in fact send data to a database though I did not explain you how you can get those results so the idea of this video is to explain you how you can in fact reach this given database and display the results on the web page so in order to do so what you need to have is uh, once more um, the PHP uh, PHP code. So it's the PHP code that I'm going to use. So as you can see, it starts with PHP. You know, so okay, I'm going to use PHP language. Here I get the credential. So to say, in fact, the method is not really different from uh, sending the results, uh, grabbing the result is kind of the same thing. So here I'm making, um, I'm defining the variable, okay, in order to access to the database. Uh, then again, new variable. If the connection is not working, then an error message will be displayed and then uh, here I get my uh, variable for the SQL uh, request and in fact here I'm getting my PHP which is saying okay uh, connect to the database and uh, fetch those given results and display them um, like this so here I'm saying okay display the result where you show ID two point and then the ID space um, hyphen and then alert time and then show the alert time and um, in fact I can show it to you so it looks like this at the end of the day so, um, in my case I put it within um, a results page and so if I do like catch results.php as you can see this is my this is my page, so sudo get it as well dot php. Okay, so here's my, my page that I created in PHP, and in fact every time that I'm calling this given this given page, it's called results, results.php, as you can see I'm getting exactly what I'm asking here. So the ID, then the number of the ID and the alert time of the last Alerts. So that's just this that I need to have and in fact uh, what we're going to see next is that as the um, mobile app that we're going to create uh, does not support PHP we will need to go through JavaScript so in fact what I will do is I will open this given JavaScript in order to say okay make an HTTP request to the following uh, server which represents the server that I have here which is my, my laptop and here grab the results in PHP and then show out the, the results and we're gonna see that we're getting exactly those answers but within the mobile app and that's everything that I wanted to show you for today so nothing very complicated you create um, a PHP page on which you put your PHP code and where you have your credential you have your a SQL request and then making the request grabbing the data according to uh, the different criteria that you are specifying here. Thanks for watching.